Hello everyone and welcome to Southern Motor Company. My name is Chad, I'm one of the sales representatives here that may even help you with buying this car. But I wanna kinda of give you a good review today of this 2008 Infiniti G37. I wanna show you the imperfections with it because there is some flaws with the vehicle and that's why we have it priced so aggressively and it's the number one priced G37 in America right now today. But with all that being said, it drives good, it's got cold AC, and it'd be a great vehicle for someone out there wanting a manual transmission car like this. If you don't mind putting some love and time and some hard work into making this vehicle the next level once again, well, come on down and see us at Southern Motor Company. I'm here to help you so you can get this vehicle home. But before any of that goes on, for $79.88, let me show you what's going on with it. I think that'll be definitely helpful for you. Then you can make an informed buying decision before texting, calling, or stopping by. Let's go ahead and get the review started. Well, 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 I mean, look at her, right? What an absolutely good looking car, you know, the Infiniti G37. I mean, it's definitely been a fan favorite for people for quite some time now. And then to find one like this with a manual transmission, a lot of us guys and girls in the car business, we call these unicorns, right? Because it's just kind of rare to find this car with a manual. So yeah, it's a unicorn. It's a unicorn that needs a little love though, for sure. But front end's actually not too bad. Take a look at it, right? Paint looks good, still got plenty of shine. Headlights could use a little love on them, right? I mean, they are oxidized, especially on that side a little bit more than this side but it's definitely an easy fix. So front end's not too bad. Let's take a look at the rear end. Well, the rear of the car looks pretty darn good as well, right? I mean, paint looks good. Nice and clean look, doesn't have any spoiler or anything like that off the back. Tail lights, I love that bright red. So the rear end looks good. Let me show you though, where some of the flaws come in place with this car. Now, a lot of y'all have been emailing and calling and texting because you're looking at it and you're saying, holy macaronis, look at the price, right? $79.88, what an absolutely fantastic deal, especially for the mileage on it at 134,000 miles, right? You're like, yeah, baby, that's the one I want. So anyways, there's a reason why the price is like $4,000 less than what retail is and it's lower than all the other G37s on the market with a manual transmission. And I'm gonna show you all that stuff today while we're standing out here at Southern Motor Company where the car's being sold at. So, I'm gonna be real as possible and raw with you to let you know what exactly is going on with the car. Now, I will tell you up front here, folks, engine, the clutch, the transmission, the AC, the radio, all that stuff is absolutely awesome. It's perfect, it drives great. If you can just get over the cosmetic stuff, well, there you go. You just bought yourself a great little car here, right? So let's go ahead and start looking at it. Headlights are pretty common to start doing this right here, the oxidation, but front bumper looks good. No rock chips or anything like that. The vehicle has had a repaint on it at one point or another, but it is still super shiny. We think the car may have had a vinyl wrap on it at one point in time, right? Because it's got some stuff going on with the clear coat that I'll show you here in a minute. Now, I will tell you the wheels on the car, they're great wheels. They look absolutely amazing. I love that style rim, but somebody that owned this car before definitely wasn't probably the best driver when it comes to getting close to curves because the wheels do have curb marks on just about every one of them. Now, I did drive the car earlier and the brakes and all that stuff work just fine. The rotors don't need to be replaced. No shaking in the steering wheel, so we're good there. Um, all the windows work, the sunroof works, Front windshield's in great shape. No rock chips or cracks or anything like that. The main part of the damage on the vehicle is right here right now on this back fender well on passenger side. As you can see there, it's had some damage, right? So, you know, that's the main thing right there. And then that wheel right there, my goodness, that probably all happened when this happened. And that's why these rims on this side have some uh, curb rash and a lot of it. Trunk lid looks good, rear bumper good, exhaust sounds good, it's not overly loud. Tail lights look good and the trunk is nice and clean. And as far as the interior is concerned, the interior it looks really nice as well. Again, another wheel with a lot of curb marks on it. Just pointing this stuff out to you. But 
they do seem to do just fine when driving down the road. You know, you don't have any anything odd going on, like a bent rim or anything like that. Um, and tires got plenty of tread on them, which is definitely a good thing. Uh, window tint looks fine. If you look real carefully, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It looks like there's some kind of something on the exterior clear coat of the car because um, you might be able to see it a little bit right in there. But I mean, you can't see from 10 feet back. But when you start getting close to the car, it looks like there was a vinyl wrap on it when they pulled the vinyl wrap off. It needs to be compounded and waxed and all to get whatever this etching is off. Or maybe even uh, wet sand it and then wax it, which that'd probably be the best thing. I'd take this car to a, to a shop, get that side fixed, and get them to wet sand and buff the entire car. That will get all the orange appeal out from the previous paint job. If there's any trash in the paint, that would come out and you'd have a nice looking paint job here and slap a new set of wheels on her, right? There you go. And you got yourself a really nice car. So you're buying it for like $4,000 less than what retail is. And uh, yeah, if you got a little extra money to play with, you know, put it into the car and fix her up a little bit. There's your interior. Seats are in great shape. All that looks nice. Steering wheel's looking good. It is a six speed manual. Um, you'll notice here in the back, back seats look fantastic. Headliner looks good. And uh, no rips or tears or anything odd going on with the interior. Armrest good. Everything works as it should. Your backup camera, your AC, um, Bluetooth, all that works absolutely perfect. Let's go ahead and pop the hood real quick and let you see under there. It is definitely a hot day today. It is uh, pushing probably already 90 degrees outside. They whip their little Hyundai in kind of quick looking at Jeep Wranglers. We sell a lot of Jeeps out here at the store, but a lot of people here in the Carolinas love sports cars, and this would be a definitely a nice uh, nice hookup for somebody out there. It's already got cane and air filters on both uh, air boxes. There you go, Nissan Motor Company badge. Battery's right there, and it's very clean under here. The car's already been running for a good 30 minutes, 45 minutes or so with me test driving and filming uh, videos. So if it had anything crazy going on under here, we'd probably see a little little something going on but I really do think truthfully at the end of the day this would be a great car for somebody out there even if you live out of state um, still be a great car to come maybe fly in and come pick her up or even have her trailered to your house we do transport vehicles on the uh, on the daily and anyways it is an extra cost to get a car transported but we can do that for you and that's why I make these videos now if you want to watch an even more in-depth video about this car let me know i'll send it to you it's going to be a 15 minute video with test drive and all but i got two two videos coming out about it and uh this one you're watching now which is a little bit shorter version and a longer one that gets even more in depth so stay tuned for that thank you for watching have a great day you can talk to me chad and sales at southern motor company or speak with randy as well thanks again and we'll see you soon on the next one